Let's put it in the flat. We don't measure much around here. So we want, I don't know, we want the bottom of the blades. Shoot this, Holy. Want the bottom of the blades covered? Shoot that down there. Okay, so you can't see any blades. Okay, we've got those covered. Now we hit that. That's the bottom pepper. If you have extras, you can use it for whatever you want. No big deal. That's a terrifying sound. Okay, so we got them kind of chopped up pretty good. Okay, so you see some whites in there, you see some blacks. It's all good. Looks like the new universe. It's good. We're going to hit one more time for good measure. Okay, so they're all nice and chopped up. They're all friends now. Everybody's happy. We have pretty much powdered espresso style. Some chunks. Okay, we're going to pour it out in this little dish. Check it out. Okay. So we've cracked pepper. Getting ready to cover the steaks. I'll move to you. Somewhere I'm supposed to be. We'll move it. Here, good. Okay, so we've taken one one stick of salted butter. And you can use unsalted if you want, you just have to accommodate the fact that you might need salt. We're going to take that uh, that same black pepper that we just ground up. I soften this in the microwave one quarter turn for five seconds, four times, so a total of 20 seconds. We're going to hit it hard with the black pepper, okay? This is a lot of black pepper. Now, we are going to hit it with, we didn't chop up the garlic ourselves, so we're going to hit it with what I would call a solid two tablespoons of the squeezable garlic made easy made easy 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 garlic squishy paste okay works good and we need to hit some salt in there because we, we're using a little bit of salted butter but you still need a little bit more salt so Help yourself out. Use some salt. If you use unsalted butter, then you're going to have to really hit it. This should be a black paste by the time we're done. See all the white in there? White and frothy? That's bad. So you need to add more black pepper. Okay, this is pepper stick. We're not even screwing around. So if you don't like pepper, stop this video now and go back to Finding Nemo. Because this is actually pepper stick. Okay, so you can get that nice gray color. Gray's good. Again, you have no other chance to add salt besides now or when they're done, and it's really hard when they're done, so you, I prefer to add the salt now. I prefer to add it in garlic salt. Alright, we got that done. Okay, we go ahead and add that to the steaks. And these are just, you saw me cut them. They're all good. I 
Again, if you want yours well done, then I would start with the thinner steak because they're all going to cook the same. Between rare and medium rare in this application. Okay, so we got one set of steaks done. That's what we need. Set that aside from the second side. Begin to heat our pan. Make sure you have your smoke detectors off and pallets on. About to get ugly. We are going to finish these off in a 400 degree oven. So, set your oven to 400 degrees. That's what they're going to turn out. Meanwhile, we're smoking out the house with full of smoke, and the rice is on. Not the rice is on, but the rice is on. Alright, once you've cooked a couple minutes on one side, it's time to get her done on the other side. So you gotta take the rest of your paste and get her done. I switched from a fork to a spatula on purpose. So I can smear.
heat down below. It's about to start a fire. We don't measure this. That was the E J Brandy. Do the media there. Washing that, we're washing the cream sherry. A splash. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, now we're really good. Now you know we're burning off the alcohol. We're not playing here. on Sundays. Sometimes find this at your local store. They call it the thick bake. If you have French people near you, they'll probably be baking these all day long. If not, try to buy a, a loaf of French bread. I didn't include this in the ingredients list because, well, I didn't think about it. Usually break it off. Depends how many people you have. Keep a little chunk of ours. I like a meatball salad every once in a while. So we're going to take this nice little piece of fresh bread and we're going to put it in the oven. Mm -hmm. It's going to chill. Meanwhile, back at the farm. By the way, hats off to Olivia for remembering the bread. Because Dad always remembers. He always forgets. I always Halfway forget the bread. through the meal. Yep. Oh, I forgot to put the bread Always in. Always remembers the bread. That's the best part. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it is. Everything's better than bread. Okay, so we're going to cook that down a little bit. We're going to keep adding cream because it's the base for the sauce. Got some liquor in there. We'll even taste it in a minute, but first we gotta get some body. And we are now gonna turn off the fan. That opulent sound will now go away. On time, Jeeps. Are we getting close? Yeah, two minutes. Alright, we're gonna reduce the sauce, continue to add cream until we're ready to go. Alright, 
right, so we've been keeping the sauce going by adding heavy cream, a little bit at a time, just to keep the keep everything rock and rolling. We're ready to rock and roll. So we had to wait for a little bit of rice. Now we get to add the steaks. One minute. So I got left? No. Okay. Alright, we're going to pause it one more time. I'm going to show you the final product. Huh. So we're on it. I already put the steak on. Everything's good. Nice, fluffy. Rice <laughs> and some avocado or some uh, artichoke. Loving that. Okay, so there you have it: pepper steak, rice, and pepper steak. Pepper steak, rice, rice and pepper steak. Yeah. Pepper steak, it's rice, and artichoke. <laughs> and artichoke. Oh, that was the other one. And the rice. Pepper steak. That's what it's all about. Ten seconds. The end. <laughs> Thanks for watching.